What's good, everybody? It's your boy Showtime. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Y'all already know what time it is. So, the Las Vegas Aces, man, they, in, they might be in some little bit of trouble now, man. They might be in a little bit of trouble. After Dirk Hamby has officially filed the federal lawsuit against the Las Vegas Aces in the WNBA. Now, this thing can get very, very ugly. And it's getting very, very ugly and um, for our very eyes. So, it's detailing the repeat acts of termination, discrimination, retaliation that culminated in January 2023 with the Aces trading habit because the star four was pregnant. Now, back in September 2023, Hammond filed a federal discrimination complaint against the WNBA and the Las Vegas Aces, claiming the Aces traded her because she was pregnant and the league didn't investigate it. So this, this thing has been going on for over a year, and Hamby and her attorney put matters into their own hands. Now they try to go through it. They try to they try to get the WNBA to look into a Cat Engelberg, and they pretty much felt like they 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 just gave gave her a slap. They gave a slap on the wrist. Said, "Oh well, it'll be okay. Get back to work." So, in a situation like this, where you have a pregnant woman, Derrica Hamby, um, who's trying to who's trying to live her life. Play basketball, you know. Doing, and you know, she's a she's a straight woman. She's a straight woman. Now, I don't want to put this. Look, we 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 can talk about it, right? There's a notion out there that you know people put this this narrative out there that pre, um pre, um straight women get bullied by um gay women in the WNBA or whatever. I don't know that to be a fact, but this looks pretty bad. You know, when you got that that narrative out there, and you know people just they gonna take this and stamp that on that, and then here you go, they go to confirmation right here. So that's what that's what they, that's what they do. Now, here's the truth. Here's the truth right here. This the ugly truth regarding the WNBA. Whether we want to admit it or not, the WNBA has an issue dealing with postpartum athletes. This has been an issue that's been going on for ever, right? Now, you saw what happened with Skylar Diggins Smith and the debacle that happened over there in Phoenix, which I, I felt like that was very evil Phoenix, the way they did her. This situation don't is no different to me. And I'm glad Dirk Ham is taking is she's she's um taking this situation very serious. And because if you if we have this going on, this has to be dealt with one way or another. Um it's very clear that nothing's been done about this, and we keep saying the same stuff going you keep saying the same stuff repeat itself. Now, Derek Hamby attorney puts out a statement. This is what the attorney said. The WNBA is at its core. A workplace and a federal law has long shielded pregnant women from discrimination on the job. The world champion Aces exiled Derek Hamby for becoming pregnant, and the WNBA responded with a light tap on the wrist. Hamby attorney said every potential mother in the league is now on notice that a childbirth could change their career prospects overnight. See, that can't be right in one of the most prosperous, dynamic women's professional sport and league in America. It's pretty, pretty, pretty nasty situation right here. You know, the WNBA needs to do something about this. And the fact that they 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 try to sweep this on the rug is not good, you know. You can't have this going on. And they said in the end, she was getting intimidated. Um, they said, I mean, according to the re reports, that I mean, the the, st the stuff that's been put out there, she felt like she's been intimidated. Now we don't know all. I don't know. We don't know all the details. Everything's not but been put out there. Now what's been put out there, whether it's true or not, the fact that she had to actually 
get an attorney to handle the situation instead of Kathy Ingerberg handling it's a bad look on the league. You know, um, this is a very bad situation. Going into the second half of the of the season, you know, um, you know, eyeballs gonna be locked on, you know, Sparks versus Aces, you know, going forward. You know, they've been playing each other. I mean, nothing happened. It just people want to see drama. But this stuff right here is bigger than basketball. You know, women you got women going through this in the league. And there's more details out there, I'm pretty sure, that's been hid from the public. But I feel like this is wrong on the WNBA part for not handling this situation. Now, you on a you want to play devil's advocate, you want to say, well, to be fair, is it responsible for her to get pregnant? Knowing she got to play basketball, and how that's our obligation to play basketball. Then you look on the other side, though. You have a you have a straight basketball player who wants to make a living for herself and her family, you know, and she wants to have a family, you know, and she wants to be able to play basketball and have a family, you know, and. I guess the team felt like the league feels like you're supposed to sacrifice that part. You got to make sacrifices. You might have uh, having a kid is not a uh, good idea. But one thing I can't agree with, I can't agree with bullying, intimidation, and discrimination. Can't agree with that. That stuff shouldn't be accepted in no league, no workplace at all, period. So whatever happened with this situation, I hope Derek can have it the best, and I hope she get the closure she's looking for, you know. And I hope this, this right here, this a black eye, y'all, this is a black eye on the league. Now, it's not been highlighted. It's not been put out there on ESPN like it supposed to. ESPN wants to talk about all the other bullshit. It doesn't matter. You know, clearly the media doesn't care about these issues, what, what women go through in this world. Sadly, the media doesn't care about this kind of stuff. They don't care about the real issues like this, bullying, you know. Hopefully, they can get this this cleaned up, bro. And I'm starting to really question Kathy Engelberg as a commissioner because you can't have this stuff. You can't have this stuff going on, going on in your league, and you don't do nothing about it. You gave him a slap on the wrist, and you made her feel like, you know, um, you let you, you left her hanging. You left her hanging, man. You know that's not that's not good. And that's a and that's probably the worst feeling. And that's probably the worst feeling, you know, for her to try to like play basketball and keep a smile on her face, knowing my coach keep my, my coach keep me off a team I've been on for years. And I try to get the WNBA involved, you know, and they pretty much shrug their shoulders. You know, it's like you work at, a, you, some of y'all work at y'all jobs. Y'all got stuff going on and a serious matter come up and your mama might be sick or something. And, you know, you have to leave work early and your boss tell you, well, if you leave early, you can't come back. What you going to do? If your mama, if your mama really, you know, sick or really, you know, something serious happen, I mean, you forced to lose your job. You know, so I mean, that just it's sad. You know, it's sad, and it need to be. There need to be some kind of, you know, they got to do something about this, y'all. I mean, the the um, the, com the players committee. You know, this need to be something that um, they need to be some rule changes, some agreements upon pregnant women. It need to be a better system. That's what I'm looking for. Fix the system. 
fixed the system. So going forward, this won't happen again. See what I'm saying? Or do they even care? Seem like to me they don't care. You got all this stuff going on, and nothing's been done. Like, what's going on, Captain Engelbert? Like, what's really going on? Clean this shit up, man. Clean this shit up, bro. I mean, y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Get in the comment section. Light it up, man. I'm out of here.